Hi everyone, Easy Commission is an online application that allows companies to calculate sales commissions for their sales reps. Commission plans are designed and set up by commission administrators. Commission statements are reviewed by the sales reps. This presentation shows how Easy Commission works. We're going to use a really simple sales commission program to show this. We're going to pretend we are a compensation administrator and go through a process of getting a working commission program. Our example company today sells nuts and bolts. We're going to assume that we have two salespeople, Andy and John. For the sales that Andy and John bring in, we're going to pay them commissions. But we want to pay them different commissions for different products that they sell. Andy is going to get paid 5% of revenue for nuts and 6% of revenue for bolt sales. John, on the other hand, is going to get paid 8% commission on nuts and 10% on bolts. Maybe he is selling the same products against a competitor. This is the commission plan we are going to implement. Okay, now we have logged on to the Easy Commission application as the commission administrator. As you can see, the application is very simple and straightforward. First, we're going to check the commission schedule or the calendar. By specifying the frequency, the current period, the commission year, and the first day of the commission year, we can generate a commission schedule. And transactions within each period are used to calculate commissions for that period. You can calculate commissions after the period is ended. So for example, for the period of January, you can calculate commissions on 5th of February. Now let us go back to the home page. We have to now add our sales reps. Let us go to that page. This is a list page and you can add your sales reps here by clicking on add new. This is the detail page. I am adding in Andy reps record, putting in the email ID for access. And I'm saving the record. We'll also add John's record. And now I am done adding the salespeople's records. Of course, there's additional information I could have put on that at that time. And let's go back to the home page to look at the next step. We have to now add some customers. Let's go to that page. By now, you know how this works exactly. So let me go ahead and add uh, some customer information. Here's one ABC Inc. And I can type in some address information. and state, zip code, and country. And I can save this. And once it is saved, I can also copy the record over into a additional record and all the values uh, can be cloned over in that case. So in this case, I want this to be Acme Inc. And I am done um, adding two customers to the system. So now we will go back to the home page to look for the next step. We will add the products at this point. First, I will add a product called Bolts. It's pretty straightforward here. I may put in other values. I'm just going to put a cost of 10. I can also click Save and Next to automatically go to the very next record. And I add another record here. This one, perhaps $11 in cost. I am done adding both products now. 
and you will see both products here and uh, we'll go back to look for the next step so far we have added what are called uh, master records for clarity uh, we should now add some transactions the transactions normally represent uh, your revenue transactions such as invoices and sales orders let us go ahead and add some transactions now so I will start out with and this is my first uh, transaction I type in this could be an invoice number or order number a individual line number uh, this is for customer ABC and this is bolts and the sales amount is a thousand dollars so I will save this and you can see a lot of information here well, I actually need to also specify who the salesperson is on this transaction I will save and go to the very next record um, we're going to enter a second line for the same invoice so a01 the transaction line is number two customers again ABC product this time is nuts and uh, the amount sales amount is going to be I'm going to keep it the same amount for uh, ease of math and I also can specify the rep again bear in mind that I could have made a copy of the transaction easily and not have to type in all the transactions I will go ahead and add a couple more transactions uh, this is going to be for a different customer it's going to be for a different uh, uh, for the second sales rep so B01 first line customer this time is going to be Acme product is going to be bolts and uh, amount I will keep again at a thousand this time I will make the sales rep B John I will save this record and uh, then we have to add one last record here B01 second line for that same invoice customer again Acme and this time it's going to be nuts and um, sell some others again a thousand dollars and rep is going to be John and I'm saving this I hope I have typed in all the transaction values correctly here if not I can go and then modify these transactions again it appears that they all look okay so the transactions have been entered so now we can go and look at the important part of the application commission plans are the rules that say how a particular reps commissions should calculate each rep can have their own commission plan and let us go ahead and add a new commission plan the commission plan screen asks a series of questions and by answering this these questions you can create a plan this plan is for Andy let us give it a name We want to calculate commissions based on sales revenue so we pick the sales amount on transaction as opposed to other fields and how much of the sales amount should go to the sales rep normally it's 100 percent but if you were to do a split you can specify it as a 60 40 70 30 etc of all the transactions that were set which transactions belong to this rep and since we already specified the rep on the transactions we can make this choice here but we have the option to credit transactions by customers or products as well commission rate type is a percent of the credited amount finally the commission rates for the calculations we had decided was unique by product so we have to select the ability to specify different rates by different products for bolts for Andy the commission rate is six and then we also need to specify another one for nuts and we choose that and specify five and uh, we save the plan once Andy's plan is done 
we can go ahead and add John's plan as well. So let's pick John as the person for whom the plan is getting created. It's a slightly different plan. Okay. We can choose pretty much all the same choices, except in the case of products, we have to here specify a different set of commission rates for John. So for bolts, we're going to pay at 10%, and for nuts, we're going to pay 8%. We save John's plan as well. So we have now created both sets of plans for Andy and John, and uh, we can go look at how we get the results. Now we have all the data and plans we need established in the system. We have to see the results of the commission plan. To do that, we first calculate the commission plans. We go in and click on the Calculate button, which applies the plans against the transactions. Once that is done, we can go review the commission statements. Uh, we will start with Andy's commission statement. And as you can see here, Andy's commission statement provides a detail of the transaction, customer, product, amount, commission rate. And as you can tell, the commission rate is different by products here. And that is a commission statement uh, that Andy gets. Let's also look at John's commission statement. And uh, John has a different set of transactions, and the commission rates, again, are different by product. So we are done calculating and producing commission results. Let's go back home at this point. After the commission statements have been reviewed by the sales rep, uh, you would provide the amounts to payroll or accounts payable so that checks can get be, can be cut. And then you would close the period so that the transactions for which you paid commissions can be closed out and you can move on to the next period. Thank you very much for uh, viewing this demo with me. Um, good luck using the system and please provide any feedback you can to us so that we can constantly improve our application for your benefit. Thank you again.